Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, July 22nd, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button, see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at the SP 500. And as you can see, we have just basically rallied to the upside, to be fairly honest. We had a massive breakdown on Friday and on Monday and yesterday, and today we have basically, basically turned everything around. We're trading just about, uh, not just about, but way above the 20 exponential. And at this moment, it looks more likely that we're going to go back towards all time highs than it is that we basically break towards the 250 moving average at this point. If you look at the MACD, you can see that it is still bearish, but it's, uh, it's flattening out. It's basically turning around. Stochastic has completely turned around. It's crossing the signal line, becoming bullish. And the RSI is bullish at this point as well. So if you manage to take out uh, 4,388, 4, then we're most likely going towards uh, 4,400 and probably also 4,500 in the next few weeks. So let's look at Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, very similar here, fell a massive drop on Monday, rallied yesterday and then rallied yet again today and basically took out the highs on Monday and this kind of said confirmation that we are most likely going back towards the back towards the all time highs at the 35k. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is about to cross the signal line, becoming bullish. Stochastic is still bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. If we pull back, they'll most likely find support around the 20 exponential break below the 50. Then we're probably going to visit back 33 and 34k or, or around that area. Taking out the 35K, that basically opens the door to 35, 35.5 and then 36K. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ, very similar here. It, this was just a minor pullback for the NASDAQ. We didn't really get, we didn't, we didn't even get close to the bottom of the Bollinger Band or even the 50 moving average down here at, at the 14, uh, uh, 13K. So we hit the uh, middle of the bullish band or 20 exponential and then bounce from there. And at this point, it kind of looks like we're going back towards the all time highs here, roughly 15K. If you take out 15K, then we are most likely going to go towards uh, 15,500 uh, or 15,200, give, give or take around that range. If we break down from here, then it's very likely that we'll find support at the 20 exponential. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, turning around. Uh, it's still bearish. Stochastic is still bearish as well. And the RSI is bullish at this point. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX went all the way down towards the 15K. And then we basically rallied from that point. So we were about to have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average, but that kind of looks like it has been canceled at this point. However, we have not cleared the, uh, the highs from Monday. We have not filled this gap and we have not broken above the 50 uh, moving average. So there's still a lot of hurdles in the way for, for the DAX and uh, we need to basically break above the 50 moving average and then close above that in order to go back towards the 16K. If you look at the MACD, is still bearish. The candlestick is also bearish, and so is the and RSI is bullish at this point. If we pull back from here, and then fifteen thousand will most likely be support break below that, then that could open the door to fourteen thousand five hundred. So let's look at the UK FTSE. So UK FTSE, a really nice day today. Rallied more than one percent, but we're still at the end underneath the. We've broken the highs from Monday. We have not challenged the 50 moving average or the 20 exponential moving average. So we could rally up towards this point and then just break down. If we rally above the 50 and then stay above that, then 7,200 will most likely be the target again. We have a crossing here of the 20 of the stochastic, which is bullish at this point. RSI is also bullish and the MACD is bearish at this current stage. Break below this candlestick here, 6,800. That opens the door to 6,750 and the 200 moving average. So let's look at the China 50. 
So Channel 50 has found support at the 300 moving average. It is holding fairly well. We did a, a break below that yesterday and then rallied. And today we tried to rally up towards 16,800 Gear and then gave most of those gains back. However, technical leaders, they are turning around. So MACD is still bearish, but it is going most likely going to cross the signal line tomorrow or, or on Friday. Stochastic is becoming bullish, and so is the RSI. So if you manage to break above the 20 exponential, then we're most likely going to cross and go towards the 200 moving average. We do have a crossing here. It looks like we're probably going to have a crossing of the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average, and that in the long term should be very negative for this industry. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button above to see our new videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.